Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast, the podcast and talk show where we have digital discussions from the worlds of TV, film, pop culture, news, lifestyle, music, everything really, depending on the guest. We talk about it all. As always, I'm your host, Peter Meotis. On social media, you know me as PD Beats. I have six guests with me this evening. We are speaking to the Sharp Family Singers. Welcome yeah. to the show, Sharp Family Singers. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> so to kind of start, we're going to do something fun. I'm going to have all six of you introduce yourselves to my viewers and then tell me what your favorite karaoke song is. Go ahead. Oh. Hi, I'm Connor Sharp, and my favorite karaoke song is, um, what is it called again? Oh, wow. Mommy's Kissing Santa Claus on our album. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that's a good one. Good marketing. <laughs> good marketing. <laughs> My favorite is probably the same thing, but I like that because it's really good. What's your name? Oh, <laughs> and just do a different song. My name is Aiden Sharp, and I like uh, My Way, I guess. It's pretty good. Frank Sinatra. Okay. Frank Sinatra. My name is Logan, and I think Mary Did You Know. Oh, yeah. It's like with the Christmas yeah. theme, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I'm, I'm Samantha Sharp, and my go-to is My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion. Canada. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Barbara, and um, I'm going to pick Wind Beneath My Wings because in the 80s, I sung karaoke, and that was really popular then. <laughs> so. I'm Ron Johnson, and I don't know any of these people. No, no, I'm Ron Sharp, <laughs> and my favorite karaoke song is Unchained Melody, and I can sing it for you anytime you want. So. Yeah. Amazing. Well, my name is Peter Meliotis on social media. Nobody's PD Beats, and my favorite karaoke song is Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi. Oh, yeah. yeah, New Jersey, that's where we're at. We're just at Sweet Caroline. We always yeah. have that one. Love so... You, you got a lot. You guys have a lot kind of going on. It doesn't feel like you guys take a break with your songs. Like it seems like it's music all the time. Logan, I kind of want to know what was kind of going through your mind when you had an opportunity to do music, but also to do music with your family. You know, it was crazy, and we were trying to come up with ideas of like what our style was going to be, and we wanted everything to be the same. But then when it came down to it, we were like, we all have are all good at different things, you know. Me and Sam are pop, Aiden and Connor are the kids, and they sing beautiful. <laughs> so everybody, you know, when we did our album, everybody has a different song, and every song has a different feel, you know? And it's, it's cool. It's very eclectic. Yeah. No, absolutely. And Ron, you know, we were talking about this a little bit um, before we started. You know, you, you like, music is a, has always been a big part of your life. When did you kind of, like, th- when did it kind of come to be where it was like, you know what, I was singing... All, all, all over the place, and now I get to do it with my kids. When did that kind of really sink in for you? You know what? Uh, we, we perform a live stage show before COVID, and, um, you know, I was doing the show a couple times, and all of a sudden the twins came out, and they started singing, and I started getting choked up by it. I'm like, I can't believe all my kids want to do what we kind of have done for a living forever. And they chose it on their own. We did not force them. They've not really had a lot of lessons. They just have this kind of genetic material that makes them good singers, <laughs> And uh, so, you know, it's choked me up several times on stage in the last year, especially. And uh, Barbara, I find it very interesting because, you know, um, Sharp Family Singers, family, you know, you're a, you're a mom as well, but you're also kind of like a teammate. You're all singers <laughs> together. You're kind of yeah. wearing many hats. Have you ever thought about that? Yeah, yeah, it is weird because they're like work colleagues now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and I still have to be the mom. So unfortunately, I have to wake up and say, school time, doesn't matter if we're singing tonight. <laughs> so someone has to like lay down the law, and I guess that's my job. <laughs> Absolutely. And and Samantha, when did you kind of realize, like, uh, you know, you, you and Logan, you said the pop stuff and everything, but was there a moment where you kind of, whether it was you doing something, you know, with Aiden and Connor or with your parents where you were like, there, we have something special here. We should do this as a family. When did that kind of come to be? I always knew it was special because we would do it. And pe- I would notice from others' reactions, people would like freak out over it. And it felt really normal to me because I grew up with it. I didn't see anything like, I guess, special about it yeah. because it was just my life. But then seeing like the audience's reactions and when we finally did get all the kids in our show together mm-hmm. to perform for like the first time, especially, and just seeing how touched people were, that's really when I knew just people would come up crying to us. Yeah. And I was like, okay, yeah. this is definitely something special. So now, really- absolutely. Now I need to know Aiden and Connor, were you guys the masterminds behind getting on TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> 
I didn't like use it that much until like we started getting bigger and then I was all like, oh my god, this is a great app. Yeah, <laughs> I just watch it every time I'm bored now. <laughs> it started with the older kids and started. we didn't even have As our Sharp Family Singer name, name, right? Yeah, yeah, we, oh, no, yeah, we had a, yeah. yeah, we weren't really big on TikTok. Logan and I, my brother, we, uh, we started the whole journey, I guess, with TikTok after seeing a Disney movie. We decided to make a funny singing TikTok about it because it, a part of it had like a family thing in it with a mom and daughter. So we decided, <laughs> my mom and I, we sing all the time. So we're like, let's do it and just post it, whatever. And then we posted it and it had like 10 views. And then a month and a half later, I checked the app again and it blew up to like, you know, 200,000 views, then a million views. And I <laughs> freaked out. I called my brother and the family yeah. and said, we're famous. It happened. it happened pretty, it happens fast on TikTok, yeah. eh? Uh, and that day, after that day, we put out like 10 more singing TikToks immediately because we had to hop on that trend. So yeah. That's what the people wanted. So yeah. then now we have 4 million. So it really grew quickly. <laughs> Absolutely. Logan, there's a new, you know, you guys are always putting out um, uh, songs and, and covers and videos, but there's a record coming out, which is exciting. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, we worked really hard on it and we only did it in six weeks. Usually yeah. you're supposed to start in the summer when you do a Christmas album, but in spring. Yeah, yeah. But we started like the end of September. We worked so hard to get this out and we think it's great. So. And it's out today. It's out now. Yeah, today's the day. Today's the day. Today's the day. <laughs> Was there always an idea, Ron and Barbara, that you were going to do a family uh, Christmas CD? Was like, I mean, obviously all your, like for people to follow you, you know, there's a lot of cool things. I think the coolest thing on your channel, because I'm a big Step Brothers fan, is <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the sweet love of mine. That's like the cool, that was like the best thing. That was awesome. And Aiden and Connor, you guys did so good on that. <laughs> that was the best Thank thing. You. Yeah, that was one of our yeah. first ones we did back ever in since, February. Yeah, and ever since I saw that movie, I always, we always thought of ourselves. Like, we should always do that. that. <laughs> that for years and then when the tiktok thing yeah. came i was like we have to do it it's funny yeah. because that movie like it's one of my favorites has so many kind of moments but that's like the one that comes to mind it doesn't it, it's not even with john c riley will Ferrell. that's the one the car yeah. ride sweet love of mine that's the one that stands up it was so iconic. It's an iconic it's iconic. Movie. they kind of hit the nail on the head with that one that was <laughs> that one had to be done and uh, it was funny because even at the end when the camera fell, no one was filming us. We just had it in the car. And when we got in the car wreck, we all shook and then the camera fell. And it was like, that was magic. Yeah, it was perfect. <laughs> that was one of our first like really big Yeah, videos. that was probably the first big deal. Yeah. Yeah. We had like big videos before, but that got like millions of views. Yeah. So oh, was absolutely. No, it was, it was, it was great. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty cool too because you, Ron, you said that was one of your first ones too, right? Yeah. yeah. Very, very, in the very beginning, you know, after we did... We just reposted it recently, because yeah. I because I, I always want to bring it back every couple yeah. months. It's that, gave us, that gave us the fuel. So there's that thing that we're like, oh my God, we can have fun and just do whatever we want. Yeah. The, so, strange, yeah. the strange thing about TikTok, though, is Sam posted the one video where she was... We were doing a show in Ireland, so we did it, part of it at the Cliffs of Moher in Ireland, and then part of it in front of the Eiffel Tower mm -hmm. in Paris, because we were on their tour singing mm -hmm. in these two places as a family. Yeah. When we got back, we posted a bunch of videos from our concerts where we're wearing suits and ties and doing stuff, very professional looking, and they didn't get very many hits. And so we realized the next one we came down, like, as you roll out of bed with your socks on and not the perfect shirt and jeans that are ripped up, and yeah. you sang and you got millions of hits. You're like, well, they really want to see you in your house being yourself. And the ones that are overproduced aren't as good, you know, basically, yeah, right? Yeah, people want real and they want funny and natural they don't want we like, picked up on that pretty quickly yeah and that's yeah. pretty much where we are so but i think it's interesting because i have a question that i want to go kind of around the horn and i want you all to kind of give your answer before that barbara i find it interesting because <laughs> what you guys are kind of talking about a little bit has to do with i mean you experiment but at one point you kind of have a recipe that works you know what i mean certain videos are doing well certain songs are doing well and you kind of go with it the, at one point do you find kind of the expert experiments and trying new things kind of takes a backseat a little bit and you just kind of do what the sharp family singers are kind of getting popular for do you know what i mean by that yeah oh, because yeah. we have ideas of what we want to do and then these two tell us no <laughs> because it's not popular no one's ever heard of that song before. trending because we don't know what's trending <laughs> But sometimes we just do things we like and then it becomes trending, you know, it just mm -hmm. becomes something people like. So we, we sacrifice a little bit to do what's really popular and we also try to sneak in things that we like as well. So Absolutely. For sure. We'll go around. I want to start with Aiden and Connor. Learning experiences on this record. What did you learn in the process of creating, of, of doing, of making this record, guys? 
Well, I learned that you have to be patient, okay? Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah we're just sitting there on my iPad. They're like, oh, come on, no, we're going to go film again. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, we, we, get, we, get there, we get there at like one and we just sit there for like two hours doing nothing. I'm like, why don't we just do it when we get there so we get done faster? <laughs> <laughs> like two hours and then go like right at night. We're working on the patients. Right? We do have a formula. We, we sing everything or we do a TikTok and right when we need them, we say, come on boys, your turn. Yeah, we don't we don't actually ask them to come down to the filming center till we've all figured out. Done. And then they come down and we say, this is what you're singing in New York. And then they just do it. And so they, they pick up on things fast. In two yeah, seconds, yeah, you know. Absolutely. Samantha, what about you? Learning experiences on this record? Um, I learned, well, my big thing I learned was we have a lot of harmonies and, like, really intricate harmonies on this record. And we were all trying to do together, like, everyone. It just wasn't working. It was hard to, like, find your harmony, like, in a studio setting. It was, we had some issues with that. And then we found out Mom and I went in first. We would just lay all our harmonies down. Then the boys came in, and we just found who worked better together doing like quick harmony stuff yeah. like that. And we we had a groove with it. And then yeah. uh, once we did that for every other song because it went yeah. really smoothly, we got into like a groove of so who we have worked our partners, better with who. Yeah. I, I would say that I've had the biggest career in this business, but I am the lowest man on this totem pole. Even Logan <laughs> sings this music better than I do. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of interesting how you go from being up here to down here. But what did you learn? He says what you learned. Yeah, no. Yeah. Well, I've Learn that my kids are really talented, and uh, <laughs> I can't. I'm not the boss anymore. <laughs> Barbara, what about you? Learning experiences. Actually, what I learned is the people that are working with us, our producers mm -hmm. and our songwriters, that uh, to really follow and learn from them because it's so many things. You think you come in there knowing how to sing certain things, but they give you so much advice, and I think we all learned a lot Thank from them. Really they were yeah. amazing. <laughs> Yeah, no, we work with uh, David Rosenthal, who's Billy Joel's keyboard player and uh, musical director mm -hmm. on stage for the last 30 years. And we work with Ed Kessel, who actually produced a Broadway show that yeah. we put together, A Tale of Two yeah, Cities. Yeah, and uh, he works with Sandy Linzer, the writer, songwriter, who wrote everything for the Jersey Boys and yeah. One Direction and all these other groups. So we had a real top-notch team of people that we knew. But when we got in the studio with them, we had to work hard. Yeah, and we it had was, to work hard. And we're, we, consider ourselves pretty good singers, but we took a lot of hours yeah, to sing some of this. They just gave us so many great uh, tips and technique, and just these kids learned how to really be great studio singers, which is very different from mine. Yeah, absolutely. Logan, what about you to round up the learning experiences? I was just going to say the same thing. Like, singing in the studio is completely different than singing on TikTok and singing on a live show, and you need to learn how to sing into a mic, how, to, how hard you have to sing, how less you have to sing. Yeah. And then we also kind of just learned how to like put together a song because we had the bass song, but we needed to make it our own too. So we had to come up with different harmonies or maybe like a little section where we do like well, this like trombone thing. I don't even know. <laughs> yeah. But it's just like you have to be creative and we all like had to take out a little yeah, bit of Sam a creative side. Yeah, Sam played a trumpet. Yeah. Like her voice was a trumpet. I made my voice into a trumpet. It was interesting. And I whistle. You whistle solo, yeah. So when you hear the whistle on the album, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> That is I, awesome. I did not get that part yeah, either. I did not get that part. I saw that part. <laughs> oh, yeah. We did have to all audition for songs, which was really interesting. Yeah. Well, we're trying to find the sound of the family. That's the thing. You know, are we the next Partridge family? Or what are what are we? And yeah, what's our sound? And so we have this kind of what I call a genetic blend, which I don't think you can put together without being from the same family. And so we really have figured out a lot of things from this studio album, yeah. right? Yeah. How about you guys? Right? I have learned a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Sharp Family Singers, thank you so much for coming on Pop Turnative. Thank you so much. So, Ron, I do have to say, you did say when you were talking about your karaoke song, you said you could sing it any time. Could some, are we get? Are we able? Or I don't know if the acoustics. It's your. It's your dinner. Can we get a little bit? Can we get? Can we get a sample of what? Can we, could someone give us? Good, but I that was great. No, thank you so much. So the, the the record, the Christmas record, is out right now. Yes, yes. 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 Thank you. Christmas. Right now. Yeah. Listen to Christmas is here. And awaken the spirit. Spotify, uh, Apple, Apple Music. Yeah. And we have two original songs too. We didn't talk about yes. that, but two original two songs. Original songs. And, the, talk about two, yeah. and the exciting thing is, you can go, "Hey Alexa, play the Sharp Family Singers," and it plays it, and we're like, that's "Crazy, that's really cool for us." Yeah. That is amazing. Hey Chewy. <laughs> he wants to be involved in everything. Come on. <laughs> come on. 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 Come on.
what you mean. Show the camera. <laughs> and it's Sharp Family Singers, like it, on all social media platforms, but you all have specific channels as well, right? Like Logan, yeah. where can people follow you on social media? You can follow me at Logan Sharp with two E's or Logan Sharp Official on Instagram and TikTok. Samantha, what about you? I'm Samantha Sharp Official on everything. <laughs> That's all. But Barbara? Sharp- I'm just Barbara Sharp. That's how you spell Barbara. Oh, I spell Barbara. B A R B R A. Absolutely. Ron, what about you? I have no idea. I think I'm Ron Sharp. <laughs> Ron Sharp. He's Ron Sharp official. Ron okay, Sharp thank official. you. My daughter set it up. And they're the Sharp Twins. The Sharp, Sharp Twins. twins. Sharp underscore twins. Sharp underscore twins. There you go. Hopefully, we're going to get verified so our channels will have a little check eventually. And you might see us on TV in the spring, but we can't talk about that yet. But there's some good stuff going on. So That's amazing. Well, Ron, Barbara, Samantha, Logan, Aiden, Connor, thank you so much for coming on Popternative. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Well, this has been Popternative, youtube.com slash Popternative. For previous episodes, be sure to check out the Sharp Family Singers on social media or wherever you kind of listen to music. Until next time, this is Ron, Barbara, Samantha, Logan, Aiden, Connor, and PD Beats. Signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.